This lecture will investigate parameter sweeps in LTSpice. This is a way to perform repeated analysis. So there are two ways to examine a circuit in LTSpice by changing the values for a particular parameter. You can either manually enter each values and then re-simulate the circuit to view the response. The problem is it could require a lot of efforts and it may be difficult to put them side by side and compare their results. The second option is to use the stepped command, which is a better solution. We can use step command uh, to sweep across a range of values in a single simulation so that you can run a step over different parameters such as temperature, model parameter, global parameter, or an independent source. Steps may be linear, logarithmic, or specified as a list. Also, there are up to three parameter steps, which means the dimension is up to three. Let me illustrate the step command by a simple example given by linear technology. You can go to this website to download the source file. According to this schematic, this is a voltage step V1 into a RC filter consisting of R1 and C1. R1 has fixed value at 1 kilo ohm. C1 has three different values using the step command. Uh, this is a list of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0.3 microfarads. The capacitance of C1 is defined as a variable in these curly brackets. This waveform shows the time domain response of output voltage at C1 given different capacitance values. Now let's go to LTSpice and create this schematic. Let's open LTSpice. Create a new schematic. Save the schematic. First, we put V1. Again, we can go to component and choose a voltage. This is V1 as the as a voltage type. We put R here. You can use Control R to rotate the component, and also put a capacitance. Change the value of U1. Advanced as a pulse. The initial value is zero. V on is one volt. Delay is zero. Rest time is one microsecond. The fault time the fault time is also one micro. On time point five milli. Period is one milli. And hit OK. This is one kilo. You can right click over C curly brackets, put X, connect them by a wire. And use a ground. You can either put here or just use the shortcut G create a ground reference. To undo, you can use F9. We can define the transient simulation. Go to transient. Stop time is 3 milli. Hit OK. Put it here. After that, we can define the step command. We can go to here to create a spice directive. The directive always starts with a dot. Step parameter x and it's a list of three values 0 0.1 micro, 0 0.2 micro, and 0 0.3 micro. And choose OK. You can put it here. So now the simulation file is created. We can double check the step command by right click over this directive. 
you can see the name of parameter to sweep is capital X as we define here as a variable. The nature of sweep is a dist. Also, there are several other options. For the this list, the first value is 0.1, second value and third value are here. So I think it's ready to go. Let's hit this running man and run the simulation. We can put a net name using label net as out. And we can put it here and change the name as in. So this is input voltage from U1. This is the output voltage over capacitor C1. Let's run the simulation again and to check the output voltage. This is the step voltage response at C1 given different capacitance values. If we want to sweep another parameter, we can add another directive. We can duplicate this directive and we want to sweep the resistance of R1. We give it a name as capital Y. Go here, choose the, num the name of parameter to sweep as Y. First, we sweep 1K and then 10K. Delete the server value. So in this case, in total, there will be six different cases because three times two equals to six. Hit the running man. As we have this, as we have said, we have six different cases. This is the voltage response at C1, given a voltage step. You can go to the plot and right click, view, select steps. You can see here we have six different steps. The first column is step number, second one is for variable x, last one is for variable y. And then you can select one of a few steps, such as you are interested in the second and the fifth one, and hit OK. It gives you the steps you have chosen in the results. Now let's select all, so that we can see all the plottings. You can move your mouse to the name of the trees and right click. The colors give you the sequence of different cases. So the first case is green, the second case is blue, and so on. So it, the colors of each case is corresponding to the color shown here in this list. If you go to view, spice arrow log, you see the simulation log file for this case. We have steps, we have six steps for this simulation. As we have shown before, you can go to plot and export the data as test at V out. OK. And you go to the local directory and double click the file name. So this is the file. This is the raw data for all simulation in different cases. This is type information. This is the step 1 over 6. You can scroll down to see different raw data. The last one is 6 of 6. This is x and y values for your reference. Now let's go back to the slides, which show you a quite a few different examples. Again, the step sweep may be nested up to three levels. This example gives you an independent voltage sweep from 1 to 20 volt with a 5 points per octave. The second one is step an uh, independent current source. Also, you can step a uh, load resistance using a list. Also, uh, this one gives you a variable over a uh, NPN bipolar transistor. The last one is the step temperature by 10 degree as a step. That's all done for this lecture. Thank you very much.